Congratulations, you have received your first product from your supplier and you are ready to ship your units into Amazon. In this video, I'm going to show you step by step on how to send your first shipment into Amazon leveraging Amazon FBA. And we're gonna do this by using this example product. Now, there are four steps that go into shipping your first product into Amazon. Step one is to create your listing. Step two is to create a shipping plan. Step three is to prep your products. Step four is to arrange shipping. So let's begin. Oh, by the way, we have launched our mentorship program where we teach students on how to make $10,000 in profit per month using Amazon FBA by working no more than 15 hours a week. Now, the program is currently full, but you could join the wait list. The link is in the description. So step one, you are going to create your listing. I'm going to go to catalog, add product. It'll take you to this page over here. Enter your ASIN. All right, then you'll select the drop down. Condition is new. You click on sell this product. All right, so usually you're going to have to create a SKU for your ASIN. Usually I'll just put FBA. and then the ASIN right there. And this is your SKU, your seller SKU for this item. And then for quantity, we're going to ship out 20 units. And the price you're going to sell this product at, we're going to sell this at $20. All right, the offer is new. And Amazon, you'll see two options here. I will ship this item myself or Amazon will ship and provide customer service. We're going to click on this. This is the FBA option. Next, you're just going to go down. If you're selling other marketplaces, you could click on these. If you're not, it's just the US. And then you'll save and finish. Uh, this one item here, just put 20 for here as well. Automatically convert it. All right. In 15 minutes, your listing will be created. Two, we are going to create our shipping plan. So if you go to manage inventory and input the ASIN, you should see the SKU that you just created. However, it's you know it's only been about five minutes, so this the status of the SKU is still not active. But I did create a test SKU for this training. So we're gonna go to this test SKU here. And to create a shipping plan, you're going to go to this drop down where it says edit. And then you're gonna click on send replenish inventory. So this is what you see when you're creating a shipping plan. You have your ship from address over here. You have your marketplace destination and fulfillment capability is fulfillment by Amazon, right? Individual units, prep required, no prep required, right? If you needed to put in a poly bag, it will tell you here, you will need to put in a poly bag. For this ASIN, we just have to put on a label, put in a box and send, label the boxes and send it to Amazon. So. We're going to ship out 20 units. Right here we have 20 expiration date for this item. The expiration date should be on your item if it's an expirable product. For this product, it is an expirable product. So the expiration date for this item is December 31st, 2026. So you have your units, your expiration date, no prep required, and it's ready to pack. Once it's ready to pack, you are going to print out your F and SKU labels and prep and pack your items and put it in a box, which is going to be the next step. For step three, we are going to print our F and SKU labels. Now, F and SKU stands for Fulfillment Network Stock Keeping Unit. Now, what are F and SKU labels? An F and SKU label identifies which units are ours when they arrive at Amazon's Fulfillment Center. And why do we need F and SKU labels? Well, so on Amazon, you only have one product per listing, one listing per product, and multiple sellers. Now, if all of these sellers are sending in the same item to Amazon, Amazon needs to identify which units belong to who. And the way they do that is by the F and SKU label. So you would have to print out your F and SKU label and put it on your product, which, which we will show you on the next step. So you're gonna go to print F and SKU labels, and we use a thermal printer. Right, and the thermal printer we use is Rolo, and we'll put the link in our description. And the labels we use are the Rolo Direct 2x1 barcode labels. And the reason why we use a thermal printer is because it just makes the entire process so much easier and efficient. So I highly suggest everyone get a thermal printer when they are printing out their labels. Now, once you click on print, it's 20 labels. I already press print. 
this is what our labels will look like. Okay, you have Tony labels here. And then after you print out your labels, you're going to be ready to prep and pack your items, which I'll show you on our next step. All right, guys, continuing with step three. After you have printed out your FNSQ labels, you're going to label your products. Now, here we have the product and the barcode and the FNSQ label. You're going to take your FNSQ label and cover the barcode on the item with your FNSQ label. So this is how the end product should look. The FNSQ label is covering the barcode. The reason why we do this is once your item you know, arrives at Amazon, they don't want to scan the wrong barcode. So we want to cover any barcodes on the product. The only barcode that should be showing is your FNSQ label barcode. And make sure your box doesn't weigh more than 50 pounds and doesn't exceed more than 25 inches on either side. Very important. All right, guys. After we have labeled all of our units with the FNSQ label, we are ready to pack the box. We click on ready to pack, pack individual units. And as you can see, this is prepped by the seller. All right, everything will fit into one box. If you have multiple boxes, check off this. But in this case, all of our units are going to fit into one box. Confirm, box dimension is 16. Again, make sure your box dimensions don't exceed 25 inches on either side. This weighs 24 pounds. Again, make sure your box, the weight of your box does not exceed 50 pounds. Now we're going to confirm pack information, confirm and continue. All right. Now we're going to confirm our ship date. Our ship date is going to be January 16th and a small parcel delivery, okay? And we're going to always use Amazon Partner Carrier because just can't compete with Amazon. Their shipping rates are the cheapest. So we're going to use Amazon Partner Carrier, small parcel delivery. If you have a LTL, which, you know, God bless you if your first shipment is an LTL shipment, but majority of the time, your first shipment is going to be an SPD shipment. So 755 for this, shipment cost we're using amazon partner carrier just review everything make sure everything is good it's one box one SKU, 20 units 24 pounds and we're going to accept the sh accept and confirm the shipping charges just waiting for this to load awesome now we're going to print out our ups label and our amazon box label Again, we're using the thermal printer, the Rolo. Here we have our Amazon FBA label. So Amazon scans this. Once your shipment arrives at Amazon's fulfillment center and they know what's in your box. And this label is for UPS. All right, guys, continuing with step four, arranging our shipping. So we have printed out our box labels. We have finished prepping all of our items and we have put all of our items in the box. Now, what I like to do is if there's a gap in the box, and there's space on top, I like to take some paper or bubble wrap and just fill in that gap, right? Just to make sure, just to make sure your items don't get damaged during transportation, right? This adds in another layer of protection that you wouldn't get otherwise. Right? Now, there's not a gap on top and your items won't get damaged during transportation because some of these UPS drivers, they'll throw your packages in there not knowing what's in the packages, but they can get damaged and it has happened to us. So just make sure, you know, you protect your units and your products. Now, we put in the paper in here to cover the gap. Now we're gonna close this box, okay? Close it, here we have our tape. Let's go from both sides, just make sure it stays intact. All right, now we printed out our UPS label and our Amazon box label. Now, both of these labels should go on the same side if your box is big enough. And do not put your labels on top because, you know, if, there's an, if UPS puts another box on top, and your labels get damaged, Amazon won't be able to scan these labels and then your items will go missing. So make sure you put the labels on the same side and not on the top. 
So here. This is how it should look. And this box is ready to be shipped. I hope this helped guys. And if you like what this what you saw, and if you thought this process was easy, please subscribe to our channel and like this video. Thank you.